for cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what is up, guys? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, and we had some pretty big changes to the team. I shouldn't say changes, I should say change and including future change, but the team's looking pretty awesome. If I could, I'm gonna show you guys here, just looking at the seasons, what we got. So we got, um, damn, I clicked on the wrong thing. So if you look at the seasons right here, look at the overall. Just real quick. So my defense is now a 98 overall. I got to get my offense up to 98. And then I'll have a 98 team. I'll be one of the few, probably not the few people in Madden, but on a, as a whole, I'll be one of the top teams in the in the probably Madden. And that's pretty great considering how often how we don't buy bundles and stuff and how it's all grinded out market kind of a channel. So what, what did I add, guys? If you guys have been following me on Twitter, you know. You know what player I've been adding. I probably have one of the most dominant end du duos. No, I definitely have one of the, the most dominant end duo in the game. All right, let's switch to that. We picked up this new Khalil Mack. This guy is looking amazing. I'm so excited to be trying him out. I haven't decided on the second chemistry yet, but this guy's looking like a stud. I'm thinking secure tackler. It's probably going to be secure tackler. I just need some more training because I haven't bought any, but I should be buying some. It's cheap as hell. But let's get into the card. He's got a 93 speed, 93 excel, 92 strength, 95 tackle, 95 play rec, 96 block shedding, 99 power move, and a 90 finesse move. These stats are absolutely amazing. If you compare it to Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald's probably... Oh, now he's not going to show up, but he showed up last time. All right. Aaron Donald's probably the only car that's better than him in the game as an end. Aaron Donald's not as fast, but he's definitely better as a pass rusher. But Khalil Mack is crazy athletic. He's got a 93 speed. That's awesome for an end. He's got a 93 excel, a 73 catch. So, you know, he's still the QB spy god. He's got a 98 jumping. A 98 jumping is huge because, again, QB spy god. That guy, if you put him in a QB spy and he throws, someone throws it over the middle, he will jump it at the line. That's a crazy stat to have on an end. He's got, you've seen these at 99 pursuits, so he'll chase down a running back. Good play rack, so he knows what's going on, man. 93 hit power. Wow, he'll lay someone. This card is unreal. I'm so happy I picked it up. Shout out to Solo Man UT on Twitter for hooking me up. He helped me out. He gave me some scouts. He hooked me up with scouts. If you guys need scouts, go hit him up. Awesome guy. He grinds out solos and stuff. Just a quick little shout out to him. He's really been helping me out. And then as far as the rest of the team goes, nothing just yet. We we put some more chems actually on. Well, Aaron Donald has secure tackler, secure tackler and under pressure now. We're still waiting to power up Sean Taylor to add his chems, but that'll be coming soon. What what uh what route special should I put on Randy Moss and Calvin? Should it be deep route? Should it be elite route special? I see a lot of people with elite route. I want to know why. Specifically, if anyone knows, hit me up with that. Ryan Chazier is an He's a 99 overall now. I didn't even realize that until we started this video. That's crazy. What's he got? 97. This card is unreal. I cannot wait till I have met a legit 99 overall. But I didn't even realize he was 99 overall. Because on stream, I actually added the I added the John Madden collectible and I put a pass rush on tier 2. But I didn't think it affected him that much. Damn. And then as far as the corners go, I'm looking to power up Champ Bailey soon. I'm going to be taking... I, took the, I already picked up the Marcus Ware because I'm going to be powering up my... DeMarcus Ware soon. I'm going to be using him as my end of the year outside linebacker for his ultimate legend when he gets it. And then Champ, I'm going to power up him for his end of the year ultimate legend. And I'll be set at corners. And then I got Dion at corner. And then Kyle Fuller might be the only expendable one. A lot of people have been asking me for this, guys, by the way. That's why I'm doing this. A lot of people want to see my team, my offense, and they like to know what I'm doing behind the scenes. Um, a lot of crappy elites, irrelevant. And my team cams, if anyone was wondering, I'll go show you guys those. Because, again, my players are going to look drastically different than them on most people's teams because I have a lot of um, expensive chems all mixed together. So I got Go Deep maxed out at 30, Pass Rush maxed out, Lockdown maxed out, Zomer maxed out. I have Baltimore Ravens 24 to 25. Those are just my backups. So that Dion, um, Ricky Williams, and a few other players are a little higher. Marshall Yonda, Ogden, Ray Lewis. I actually missed the speed by one because I had to take someone out for his chemistry, but I could probably get them back in if I really wanted to. Still waiting on this Odell card. I don't know where the hell this Odell card's been. I don't I don't know what EA is doing with that. And on defense, my defense is now a 98 overall, which is crazy. So the way I see it, to get them up to a 90... So I guess I'm pretty, I have to be pretty close on offense, too. I think what's killing me on offense is my center, my right tackle, my tight end. Right? It has to be them. I don't think fullback counts that much. So I think if I upgrade my tight end to a 98 or 99 overall, I will hit it. Or if I upgrade my center. But my center I'm not going to touch for now. Quentin Nelson. I wish I could have got that Andrew Norwell. I wish I wasn't so invested in this Quentin Nelson. So what I'm thinking is that I'll probably be changing my tight end soon. I'm tired of Travis Kelsey anyways. If you guys have been watching, you know that. And special teams. 
I probably have to get a punter soon. This punter is ass. He literally can't. He, he barely punted that far. My punts suck. He's not that accurate. I need to. Get, I need. I need a new punter, but I've been too cheap to actually make the move on that one. Kick return is still the same. Let me go check out. What else is going? Oh, that's what I want to talk about. So we got mud squads today. Also on top of showing you guys my team. So new mud squad event. It's squad duos, which is pretty cool, pretty unique. But the only thing I don't like about squad duos is that. For a lot of people, it depends. You can only go as far as your teammate will let you go. So luckily, I have the advantage of knowing a few people that I could probably hook up with and link up with and do this properly. But this is such a team-oriented thing. You can't just go out there and be the quarterback and say, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, So one thing you can do, which I've done plenty of times, is I tell my teammate if they're not good, you go on this player, you don't touch the play, we'll hand, I'll handle the whole offense. It works until you play the other team that knows how to work as a team, and then you're screwed because the other team does this. You control the wide receiver. You're playmaker all around the field. A defense, a real regular Madden-style defense won't keep up with eight playmakers. Like, it's just not possible. So I recommend to you guys, if you can, get a teammate that knows how to properly play the receiver position. And if you could, if you if you have a cover to a cover three, right, and the, 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 the spot is right between the linebacker and the safety or between the safety and the outside linebackers or the, the flats, if you can just go up and playmaker right into that every time and just playmaker into all the spots that you know they're going to be open on, you don't have to rely on Madden anymore. You have you have complete control over this. So if you guys can link up properly for this, it will be a very fun game mode to play, very easy. It's going to be rushing touchdowns, though. So this one, again, the, you want to do the opposite, in my opinion. So everyone's going to be playing hard run D, 4-5, uh, cover, oh, what's it called? 4-4 uh, four, four, or like a 3-4. You know, everyone's going to be like in some running defense, you know, eight guys right in the line, you know, with outside linebackers hovering over. Like, that's what they're going to be. And so this might be the game where you want to pass a lot because passing might be open all day or vice versa. People are like, oh, the run game, everyone passes. So but you got you to you you look at your opponent. And if the opponent's sitting in a run-heavy defense, so don't run it. You don't need the 12 points. If the opponent's sitting in a run-heavy defense, and it has to be a long run, not just a run anyways. So if the opponent's sitting in a heavy run defense, first off, you could do a wide receiver end around, bring Tyreek or whoever you got around the edge and see if you can break that one loose and if not just pass the ball all day they're gonna be they're gonna be pressing you if they have Dion, it's so simple you put your guy in a fade route on Dion, he will shed him right off very very simple stuff and um just pass 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 as soon as they start playing the pass go back into the run it's how madden is madden's a chess game you do what the oh well my remote you do what the other person isn't ready for so they, they play run you pass they play pass you run it's very simple it'll probably take me a while though because i'm calling it simple and i'm gonna mess up on game six like usual I'm planning to play this with my friend Trip. You guys probably follow him on YouTube. If you don't, you should go check him out. I'm a Trip. Probably playing it with him later. If not, if he doesn't come through and we know our times don't match, I'll probably play with some subs on Twitter. A few of them hit me up already. So if he doesn't come through, I got a backup plan. But hopefully, I don't know. Well, uh, comment down below. What should I be playing tonight? Should I be the defense or the offense? What do you think I'd be more versatile on? I feel like my defense is overpowered, and I need my defense, and I love controlling defense. But at the same time, I'm all. Uh, I feel like I need to be the quarterback. Like, like in NBA, when I play NBA, I have to be the point guard. I'm, I'm the brains of the operation. I'm, I'm the brains. Everyone else are my little minions. So I feel like that's how I play, sadly. So I'm not a good supporting cast member. I'm a good leader. And then you support what I do because I have, you know, that's just how I am. Not saying that makes me good. I'm not like, I'm not the best at the game, but I'm just, I'm a, I'm the brain guy. So comment down below if I should be using my offense or my defense. I haven't decided yet. As much as I'd love to use my offense, maybe I'll use Trips offense and my defense because my defense is pretty insane. If I do say so myself. So, I don't know. Comment that down below. Also, like I said in the last video from now on, I'm going to be Twitch streaming a lot. I uh, In my first two days on Twitch, I already have almost affiliate status. I am 10 followers or 9 followers away from hitting affiliate status, which is crazy because this takes people months to do. People a long time. So, I did it in two days. I'm loving the support from you guys. Not even just you guys. Like I found a lot of random people that are joining the Poodle, you know, Poodle Nation over here. I just appreciate all the support. So, if you guys could... Please go. I'm going to leave the link to my Twitch down below. If you, I would appreciate it so much if you guys can um, go to Twitch and hit me with the follow and comment done if you want. So you can let me know that you support it and I'll respect you for that a lot. You know, I'd appreciate it a lot, man. If you guys could just hook me up with that. I'm so close. Once I hit affiliate status, I could do cooler features. I could drop Dono Box in there if you guys want to support the stream. I could start investing more into you. Like, so it'll open up a whole new window for me if you guys if you guys get that. So it's very important to me. If you guys are still here at this point in the video, just drop the follow, man. It doesn't. It takes two seconds out of your day. And if you don't use Twitch much, it won't even affect you. It'll just sit there, but it'll help me out a lot just to reach the point where I could set that up, open maybe some merch at some point. Just a lot of stuff I could do. So, And also on top of that, while you're at it, if you could, please drop the sub down below for my YouTube. We're growing really fast. We're now at 221 subs, which is amazing to think that literally a month ago from like today, I was sitting here 
for my first time plugging in my Logitech webcam with some not too good quality. Hey guys, uh, this is Poodle. This is my this is my my new channel. Like it's crazy how different I am, and I've changed in literally 30 days. Like it's just like it's 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 been a whole new altering course for me and what I plan on doing in life. So I'm loving it. So if you guys could just hook me up with the follow on Twitch, hook me up with the sub on YouTube. It makes a big, it's little, little things from you guys make a big difference for me. I've learned in life that you can't grow unless other people let you guys, you can't grow unless other people help you or let you grow. So your perception of me is what's going to alter my ability to be able to be what I want to be. So if you guys can help me, that'd be really awesome. And uh, remember, if you pop out to the Twitch, it's very, it's very sub oriented. So like what you guys want is what I do. You guys pick the songs I'm playing. You pick the beats I'm playing. You tell me what I'm doing. I'm not going to sit there and do what I want to do. If you guys want to, if you want to play me on stream, you help me. You tell me, I just added you as a friend. What's your gamer tag? I'll gladly add you. We'll play. It's very fun. I've so far done 10 hours worth of two streams. I've done two five hour streams. And for the majority, people stayed full five hours. I couldn't believe it. How many people have five hours sit there in a stream? And they did. So, you know. Good looks to those guys, honestly, man. That was impressive. They were able to stay for five hours and come out and watch me. My camera died halfway through. We had some technical errors because, my, you know, I have to get a second battery. And they still stayed. They didn't care if my camera was off. They were just chilling. They were DMing me on Twitter. They were clipping things. They were tweeting me out. You know, like, it's some awesome support. It's, it's such a great feeling to know that I have some, you know, some brand new loyal people that are going to be there for this ride. And, you know, they're not, they're not leaving. So, you know, it's cool to have that feeling now. I've never had something where I've had supporters like that. So, it's different, you know, man. It's different. So, you guys know. Comment down below what offense or defense I should use with my with trip. I know you probably want to see what he has first before you could pick, but what do you think is better? My strong suit. If you guys watch me play, you know me, defense or offense. What do you guys think? And um, that's it. Sub. Go hit me with the follow on Twitch. It means a lot. And once I open the sub boxes, hopefully you guys could drop the sub and you know you can support that way. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. I'm out.